Can a shadow explain a tower and not the other way round? Philosopher Bas Van Frassen tells the story of a traveller who spent the night on the estate of a French nobleman. On that estate stood an isolated tower, and at tea time, its shadow would just strike the castle terrace. The nobleman explained this by saying the tower's height had been chosen to commemorate a historical date, and that the length of the shadow was an unfortunate consequence. But that night, a maid whispered a darker truth to the traveller. She told him that the tower marked the spot where the nobleman had murdered the woman who spurned him, and that its height had been chosen so that the shadow that it cast just touched the place where he first declared his love. This speaks to explanation. We can give an explanation in physical terms, in terms of geometry, trigonometry, the height of the tower and the angle of the sun and so forth. But in this case, perhaps the truest story is the one of the haunted past, of the spurned love. And in this case, it is the length of the shadow that explains the height of the tower.